What is up, everybody? It is Nothing But Cardboard here today. We have John, John, and Cody, and we are going to be doing a Thresher Lot number two card reveal for you. So if you remember, we actually just dropped it on Friday. Thresher Lot number one. We found some huge cards, specifically me. I found an Amanda Nunez. He's still pumped on. Amanda Nunez debut card. This is a huge card. We sent it Super Express, got it graded. It graded at a nine, which is awesome. Very, very pumped up about that. That was a huge card, a couple thousand grand for sure. Yeah, you um, let everyone know about that card, didn't you? I made sure, and uh, I don't know if you yeah. remember or not, but we had a sleeve boy last time. And I'm back. His I'm name was now. Cody. I'm yeah. here in the video this time. Y'all can't talk much crap this time. No, no. Or well, you can, but I'll hear it firsthand. <laughs> Anyways, we are also giving away a 2020 Select Blaster box here when we reach 100 YouTube subscribers. Right now we're at about 60, so we only need about 40 more and we will be giving this away. If you are in the first 100 subscribers, you will automatically be entered in to win uh, this box. Are there any good cards in that box? Anything they can pull? Terrible cards. I can't think of anything. Terrible cards. Oh, Just wait a Justin second. Herbert numbered out of five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Th there might be a Justin Herbert two out of five, PSA 10 in there somewhere. Probably not that one, maybe a three out of five. Maybe a zebra in here. Could be. I don't know. If you don't know what we're talking about, go watch Cody's YouTube video on what he pulled. It was actually one of these boxes from a retail store. Different yeah. targets, so it was a different case and everything, but there's some money cards in there. All right, so explain the rules. How's this sleeve boy contest? All right, so in the Thresher lot number two, we bought it from the same lady. We ended up with about 55,000 cards, you know, roughly, I think it was 18, 20, no, 21 boxes. So we each got about seven boxes to go through. We split them up randomly. You know, we didn't peek into the boxes before. Uh, we uh, split them up. John might have a little bit because he picked them up, but. <laughs> he still did average, so. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but anyways, <laughs> we split them up evenly. We got to go through uh, roughly 20 to 22,000 cards each. The person who pulls the, the biggest valued cards is going to be the winner. Yep. And the person who pulls the least amount of value out of the boxes is the sleeve boy. Which and is currently. Currently the sleeve boy is record. Cody. Yeah. First. I was the first sleeve boy. He is boy. the inaugural yeah. sleeve boy. Feels great. Feels great. Feels real good, yeah. don't it? Yeah. yeah. These guys are pulling fire, and like, hey, hand me a sleeve. And I'm like, what am I, sleeve boy? How did this happen? So we're like, hey, we should use that as a term and use it. So sleeve boy, when somebody gets a good card, you want to sleeve the card, and you want to put it in a top loader. So we say, this time it was Cody. Cody, sleeve boy, give him the card. He sleeves it up and puts it in the top loader. Yeah, he ain't pulling fire, so you got to be the sleeve boy. You got to have something to do if you're not pulling good exactly. cards. Exactly. Yeah, you pretty much don't feel good when you're a sleeve boy. And you know what's funny? <laughs> I actually uh, remember roasting Cody a little bit in the last video. I was like, man, I pulled all these a cards. Little. It's amazing how few cards yeah. po Cody pulled out of this box. Uh, well, I got that box this time. So <laughs> I have a feeling uh, the tables might be turned here, but I'll go ahead and show you what I pulled anyway. The very few cards that I was able to pull from this. Now, there was a lot of other cards that, you know, will sell well on eBay, but probably not for grading, so I don't even have those with me. So here we go. Uh, we have a Sean Kemp card. This is not a rookie card, but it's really cool. It looks like he's in outer space. The ball's on fire, just like this card. That's the one he's crying in his face. <laughs> he does. Look, I don't know if you can see it. He is like, oh, oh I'll dunk it, I think. But anyways, this card, we had, uh, what did we have this graded at? Like a PSA 9 or something like that. Seven, Nine, 55 bucks. 55 bucks. Okay. Then there's an actual Sean Kemp rookie card. Grossly off-centered, but everything else was very, very um, pristine on this card. So sharp corners, um, you know, good surface. Just the centering is, is what's wrong. So I think this one was about a $70, $70 card. $70, you had to grade it as a 9. We, we come up with the value based on what we think the card's going to grade. We don't just say this, this card could be $200. We look up the grade and then average those. So... Yeah, John graded this as a nine, and that was selling for around seventy dollars value. Yeah, even with the OC, I was very—I think I was a little generous on this one. Here, graded a nine, but I was desperate for for money here. <laughs> John card, yeah, because <laughs> I knew what they were pulling, and this was the best card I pulled. This next one, did so, you grade that one? Did we reach out? Yeah, Cody we, did. We, we checked that one. We'll yeah. see how the. And we definitely out. checked this one. You definitely checked this one. So this yeah, is a Russell Westbrook rookie card, Bowman card. So this is his first card. Um, I thought it was in pristine condition on the front. You want to buy it. I'm biased. very biased. The front was very nice. The only thing but... I saw was on the back, you can see some whitening on the back 
uh, edge on the bottom there. That right corner. They dinged me two points for this back edge, and I was just livid. I was five. livid. I thought this was for sure going to grade a nine, just because there's nothing wrong with the front, and it's perfectly centered. Uh, but they gave me an eight, so at an eight, it's selling for about 70. 8.5 on here is what we got. 70 bucks. Yeah, 70 bucks is a, a PSA 8. So what would a 9 eight. sold for? A 9 would have sold for 200 bucks. Okay. So a then right. a 10 was about, I want to say, 500 that something would dollars. That yeah, would that would have helped me a lot. But it's nonetheless a very nice card. Raw, it's selling for about 50 bucks. So, so what was your total out of the three? So my total is uh, just over $200 for all three of them. So, I mean, with three cards, 200 bucks, you can't complain too much. Oh. I just uh, don't think it's going to be enough to not be. The sleeve boy, but we'll see. Let's see what happens. All right, I was second place last time, and based on what I think is going to happen, I'm going to be second place. These are my honorable mentions. These are my WWRs. <laughs> Wes Welkler, <laughs> Brandon Stokely. What is a WWR, John? I have no idea. I can't. If I say it, then I get bleeped out, and this may not make a video. <laughs> these are white wide receivers. They're just rare. <laughs> these are rare cards. The whole box we looked oh. through, these were hard to find. So oh I found God. four. A WWR? <laughs> yeah. Is that a technical term? It is very technical. All right, here's my... I didn't bring out any of my honorable mention cards or eBay. We have a huge stack, like you said, for eBay. Yeah. This is a Sean Taylor. I really wanted this to pull a 10, but it did not. 25 bucks. If it was a 10, it was going for, I think, 225 Yeah, that's a nice Sean Taylor rookie. Card. Also got two Vincent Jackson rookie cards. Rest in peace. He just passed away recently. Yeah, He's yeah. not that old, which is weird. So... I got lucky in my box that I hit these 2004, 2005 tops because most of my cards came from this set. He didn't get that lucky though because Aaron Rodgers was not in it. Yeah. Um, so we had those graded at PSA 9 and that's about $125 a card if they graded a 9. Next wow, guy that I pulled from there was uh, Ben Roethlisberger. Big Ben! Same cards, decent grade. I think again, none of these. I thought they were 10s. They looked really good. We double checked each other's cards and of course they found something with the cards wrong so, so when you're competing them. you you are going to find you have to find something <laughs> wrong with the other person's card because you don't want to be the sleeve boy so we ding these as much as we could we had a, a nine and an 8.5 about 20 bucks and 30 bucks those are we're gonna hold these because we think he's still playing hall of famer for sure it's not his rookie it is his second year but you never know so we're gonna hold those and put them away next one defensive guy you don't see this very often i love DeMarcus, DeMarcus Ware. DeMarcus Ware, same year 2005. And this was, yeah, we gave this one a PSA uh, 9 as well. About 75 bucks as a 9. And that is his pure, his rookie That card. is his rookie, yep. And then my last cards, which were my best cards that I pulled, was the Frank Gore actual rookie card. Mm -hmm. Beautiful cards. Again, we didn't have a 10. I would like to have the 10s on these. What do we grade them as? Graded them at a 9 plus, yeah. uh, which is about 70 bucks a card. So I'd argue your Vincent Jacksons might be your best, but... He's eligible for the Hall of Fame now that he's passed away. Frank Gore is obviously, you know, still the man playing? that's beating time. So still still playing, playing, still he's, playing. He's, Frank Gore is the second. I think he's the second mm. all-time rusher in the league, and I might get a I might get a buzzer on that one. But I, he's he's up there, top five. I'm, I'm almost yeah. positive. Yeah, we'll have to fact and check. What were the Gores? Yeah. Uh, nine plus. Nine so plus, seventy bucks each. Seventy bucks each. So I had about five hundred. I think you had like 560, mm -hmm. something around there. What about these guys? Were the WWRs? We didn't look these up. Well, I'm pretty sure. Are okay. they rookies? No. No. <laughs> okay. They were hard enough to find as they were. WWRs, yeah. They might be worth some money one day. <laughs> All right. So let's see what uh, Cody's got. Well, as the inaugural sleep, sleep boy, boy, I'm going last on this. I don't think I took the, the crown on this one. No? No. Because this one is a Jason Peters rookie card. You don't think too much of a lineman being a value, but when they go into the Hall of Fame and they're all pros, they actually make some uh, good value as far as it goes for resale. So I'm going to reposition that because I'm, I'm a jerk. But um, this was a pretty nice card. There was a little bit of whitening on the edges and borders. I think we graded this as a PSA 8, right? We did. Yeah, we might have been a little harsh on some of these cards just because we were looking for every possible defect that we could find because we didn't want the other person to win. Yeah. But at an 8, it's still $70. Yeah, and I think the 9s were selling for over over 200 bucks. But still a nice rookie card of Jason Peters. This was a really exciting card that we got. This is a Kevin Durant rookie card. Um, the black border is really, really tough to grade. So as you can tell by this uh, sticker here, we graded it a 7.5. Um, and we're currently going to hold this because the value 
for KD is just kind of undervalued, but there's some whitening along the edges there, but overall looked pretty good. It was a little OC on the front. Yeah, too. it's crazy. This card raw, just even in worse condition, we watched one sell yesterday for $70. Yeah. So that's a huge find. It's crazy. We found Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant, the OC, our OKC brothers, oh. um, in the same in lot. In the same lot, yeah. you know. And I don't know why someone, if I, I think the boxes were picked through, they left these cards for some reason. Durant, yeah. to find that rookie, that's really hot right now. And the way he's playing, his cards are just on the rise. So yeah, it's a very cool find. Yeah, I still think he's undervalued. So we're gonna hold that one, maybe grade it, and then hold it. What but, was the value on that card if it graded a say an eight? If it was an eight, it was 150. As a plus. seven, it was like a seventy dollar card. Yeah. yeah. So it's worth the same amount of money raw as it is to get it graded, yeah. basically. Now. So here's my money maker one. This is the uh, I found a whole stack of this guy, but we got a Ray Allen tops rookie card. Uh, super nice. nice. Um, Very nice. They were they were brutal on this card, but I'm okay with with that. You know, PSA is going to be brutal. On it. We just graded it the way it's supposed to be graded. There was a little ink mark, almost look, looked like a pin on the back side, but uh, I know that doesn't detract from the card image, but this one we graded at a nine, and the value of this card is at $350 as a nine. But as a 10, 10. this could be a $1,200 card. Very yeah, so I'm gonna applaud you for that. I we're gonna still card. say that this is a nine, so 350. So plugging in all three of them, sleep boy, Came in at four hundred ninety dollars, which makes Cody the today's winner. Second place again. Second place, which makes me the honorary sleeve boy for the week until the next lot. Cody, we gotta find a huge lot for the next one for him, Listen. like a hundred thousand cards for him. To I'm, sleeve boy. I'm gonna have to sleeve him, I guess. Yeah, I think we're gonna end up, as far as the collection goes, I think we're gonna end up keeping these three. Maybe not the Ray Allen, probably the Kevin Durant and the Russell Westbrook. So yeah. uh, put that in our personal collection as a as a group, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. So right. thank y'all so much for joining us on another uh, car battle or thresher lot battle, whatever it is. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for the hundred subscriber giveaway on the 2020 Select Blaster Box. Leave us a like, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.